This is Pastor Lynn and I'm coming to you from my back deck today and I wanted to read you a parable. Now parables were uh, stories that Jesus told to help us learn about God. And so parables are found in three of the Gospels and I want you to remember that Gospels are the books in the Bible that talk about Jesus' life. So today I'm going to read to you a parable from Matthew and um, we're going to see what that means for us and then I'm going to ask you some questions afterwards but I'll help you with them. So I'm going to start in the 13th chapter of Matthew and you can open your Bibles up to Matthew which is the first book in the New Testament and we're going to go to the 13th chapter so that's the big 13 and we're going to start with the first verse and we're going to go to the ninth verse and then we'll take a little break and we'll read what they say from about from the 18th verse to the 23rd verse. All right. The same day Jesus went out of the house and sat beside the sea. Such great crowds, crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and had to sit there while the whole crowd stood on the beach. And he told them many things in parables, saying, Listen, a sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seeds fell on a path, and the birds came and ate them up. And other seeds fell on rocky ground where they did not have much soil. And they sprang up quickly since they, did not, they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched since they had no root and they withered away. Other seeds fell among the thorns and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and brought forth grain, some a hundredfold and sixtyfold, some thirty that anyone who with ears listen. And then we go to the 18th verse and we find out what does this mean? Hear then the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what is sown in the heart and that which is sown on the, that is what is sown on the path. As for that which is sown on rocky, rocky gown, ground, this is one who hears the words and immediately receives it with joy. Yet such a person has no root, but endures only for a little while. And when trouble or persecution arises on account of the word, that person immediately falls away. As for what is sown among thorns, this is the one who hears the word, but the cares of the world and the lure of wealth choke the word, choke the word and it yields nothing. But as for what was grown, sown on good soil, this is the one who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and yields, in one case a hundredfold, in another sixty, in another thirty. So this is a parable that tells us why sometimes people hear God's words, but they don't seem to really live God's word. But you are all good soil. You are all ready to hear God's word and ready to live as God calls you to live. But sometimes there's things that make life hard and so there's rocky soil. Sometimes things take our attention away from God and so that we feel like God's word is snatched away from us. Um, sometimes things get a little sticky or hot and we fall away from God. But I want you to know that God continues to send out love to you no matter what's going on in your life and you will be able to hear it whenever you're feeling good and when you're feeling ready to hear God's word. I want to ask you a question. How did Jesus teach? Jesus taught with parables, which are stories about everyday life. So this is about somebody who was planting seeds. So what Bibles in the book do we find the parables in? We find them in three of the Gospels. Now there are four Gospels but we find them in the first three, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. The Gospel of John did not have any parables in them. Um, and the um, Gospels are books in the Bible that tell the story of Jesus' life. And finally, the meaning of the parable is that God is always giving seeds so that we will be ready to hear how much God loves us. Would you pray with me? Dear God, we thank you for always sending us love. 
And Lord, we hope that you will always help us to receive your love and to grow into the people you have called us to be. Amen. I want to thank you for joining me today, and I encourage you to read some more parables and find out about what Jesus wants us to know.